Hey kids, we're back in the Ford Focus 2016. I've been doing a lot of research because I wasn't happy with how it was shifting. And I found this software called Forescan. I'll put the links in the description. You can get a free two month trial on it or a one year subscription for $20 US. So that's the route I went to support those people that develop it. Anyways, it's a scan tool for Fords specifically, and it allows you to program your TCM. Now, what I have found is this car is a 2016, but the previous owner threw a 2014 transmission in it and I believe that the reason that it's not shifting perfect is the TCM was never programmed properly. Every transmission year has its own shifting points and you need to program the TCM with the proper calibration for that year so I suspect that was never done. So let's see if we can record this here. Full disclosure, I've already run these tests and I'm going to try to piece together a video to show what I did here. So this is Forescan here. This video is going to be a little shaky because this laptop doesn't have the hardware in it to let me record the screen. So I'm doing it holding my iPhone. So I'm going to load this up. key to on position so it read all the modules and it looks like it's it found a few problems with it Okay, that's because we don't have sensors on. The sensors are bad, I think. That's what those are. Tire sensor. So we probably don't have to worry about that right now. So then we go down here to configuration and programming. Third up from the bottom here. TCM firmware update. We want to run that. Warnings. Please turn the ignition off. Down here you can hit download and it'll go out to the internet and we'll pick it up what you need and i found that in testing this bootloader secondary bootloader was good and i want to choose custom and i'm going to leave that secondary bootloader in but i'm going to get this file that I found on the internet that's for the 20 it's a strategy for the 2014 TCM and it's this one right here and then I'm going to tell it to program turn the ignition on Okay, this is uh, takes a lot of time and power, so they recommend that you have a battery charger on the battery, and I do.
Okay, it says that it was completed successfully. Now we're going to click on this wrench icon. All right, I had some kind of issue where I think my leg hit the cable and I'm going to try this again. Going to service procedures, TCM adaptive learning, press run. We'll run all five of these. Okay, cars in park, press OK. Reverse. Neutral. Drive. Low. Back to park. Reverse. Neutral. Drive. Low. Press back to park. Turn the ignition off. Wait 45 seconds. Turn the ignition on. Okay, we'll go into the next one. Okay, cars in park. Reverse. Neutral. Drive. Low. Back to, back to park. I'll go into the third one. We're in park, hold the brake pedal. Shift drum is learned, no errors detected. Turn the ignition off. Turn ignition on. Now we're going to perform clutch adaptive learning. We're in park and I have the brake on. Please run the engine. We're in part. Hey, this is where we hold her to the floor. Turn to idle. Okay, we are at operating temperature. Nothing's turned on in the car.
Okay. Turn the ignition off. Forty five seconds. Turn the ignition on. Now we'll do the last one. We're in park. Turn the ignition off. Turn the ignition on. Do not start. And we're going to exit. Okay, we go in here to disconnect. Not connected. Perfect. Okay. Let me unplug the battery charger and we'll take it for a test drive. All right. We're out on the road here. Let's get this. Okay. Just buttery smooth. I can't feel any shifts now. This thing is perfect. Love it. That was a long time coming. A lot of research. A lot of frustration. But we stuck with it. And now the car is working perfect. Alright. I'll end the video here. Thanks for hanging out. Hopefully you learned as much as I did. Later.